Hello fellow pen lovers and stationery enthusiasts, it's Christy here, Snarky Wordsworth over on Instagram and Reddit, and today I am going to do a little um, custom swatching video for everybody out there. So I've been getting a couple of DMs here and there uh, asking me about the inks that I blended together to get the uh, ink that I use in my new Golden Abalone Virgo from Zodiac Pen Company. And one, let me preface this by saying I have no idea what I'm doing when I'm blending inks. I keep track of like how much uh, of whatever goes into, you know, the mix, but I don't really know if it's a great idea or not. So please, please, please uh, make note of that disclaimer. That said, if other people want to, you know, start experimenting with inks, I think that's always like kind of a fun thing to do. So I thought I'd put together my uh, proportion lists and then do some swatches. I have three variations on this one particular ink that I ended up putting in uh, this particular pen. The other two are slightly different shades that I think would work better in different abalone style blanks, but I really like them. One of them I actually like more even than the ink that I have in here. So I figured why not just kind of share the proportions and then if people want to go crazy, they absolutely can. But it's more just, I think, a video to sort of encourage other people to just experiment a little bit or ink experiment if you want to be punny with it. But yeah, so let's go ahead and get to the ink swatches. Okay, the first one that I'm going to swatch is the one that I have inked in my Virgo right now, and that is one I'm just calling Majestic Lady Oyster. Um, it's a really pretty sort of beigey pink uh, with gold shimmer in it. So if you have a pen that you think would fit that, this one might be a good one for you to try. Okay, so this one is a little bit of a convoluted mess when it comes to how many different inks are in it, um, but I'm really, really happy with the way it turned out. So um, I think that I'm going to keep this particular blend where it's at. So this is actually four parts Oyster Hour. And Oyster Hour is kind of the unifying theme in all of these uh, variations. It's just kind of a magical ink when it comes to blending stuff together, when you're going for this sort of tone anyway. And then I have three parts Majestic Maple. I've got three parts Spadina Rose. And then just one part of Lady Rose. And if I do change this, I think it'll be to remove the Lady Rose and maybe up the Spadina, simply because I only had one sample of the Lady Rose and it's not a color that I will ever use by itself. So I don't know if it's logical for me to continue to buy samples or what, but this might be the one element to shift. But yeah, so four parts to three parts to three parts to one part, and you come out with like a very nice, like beige heavy pink with some gold shimmer. And I love this so much. I was having a lot of trouble with the majestic maple in a lot of nibs. And when I sort of, I guess, diluted out with all of these other colors, it really still makes an impactful punch with the shimmer but works and flows much better in most of uh, the nibs that I've been playing around with this in. Um, so the nib in my Virgo is just a fine Yovo, so it's still flowing perfectly well and really showing up. So 
take that as you will. So I'll go ahead and move on to the next swatch and at the end I'll let everything dry down so you can sort of see like the finished product. But yeah, so this is Majestic Lady Oyster. Okay, my second custom blended ink is one that I'm calling Queen Oyster. This one leans much further, uh, sort of like a gray lavender color. And this is actually my favorite of the three that I put together. But I do think this would work better in, say, like a light papillon or, um, you know, one of the more traditional abalone colored blanks. But it might work in a different pen for you. I don't know. Super simple blend and one that I really, really like. Okay, so again, this is my Queen Oyster Blend, and this one is just five parts of Queen Allium, blended with three parts Oyster Hour. So super simple, but it makes a really, really beautiful uh, beige that leans into the greens or greens into the grays and the more lavender tones with that gold sparkle. And I think it's just beautiful. Okay. My very last blend that I'm going to talk about is my queen oyster rose. This one, if you couldn't guess is pretty much a queen oyster blend with just a bit more of a pink undertone. This would work really well with like a red abalone, I think, but again, it could probably work with a lot of different pens. Okay, and this one is very, very, very similar to Queen Oyster. It's just five parts Queen Allium, to three parts Oyster Rose, or to three parts Oyster Hour, and then to uh, I believe four parts spadina rose. And then, like I said, it's very, very similar to the Queen Oyster and apologies, that's Queen Allium and Oyster Hour. I know that I said them out loud, but I just, for whatever reason, didn't write them that way. Um, here we go. there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's, they're all quite similar, but they definitely have a difference. Um, once they completely dry down, you really see the difference, especially in the swatches, but even in just the lettering, you definitely see variations on a theme and it's just really subtle shifts, but ones that I think are definitely apparent, uh, especially when you are using them in those just slightly different, um, abalone style blanks. Uh, so let's go ahead and let everything dry down and then I will pop back and we'll get a look at everything when it's completely done. Okay, so all of the inks have had a chance to dry and let's go ahead and get some close-ups. 
so you can see quite a bit of shading in the Majestic Lady Oyster. Uh, and I'll say all three of these don't have too much shimmer. It's like pretty subtle, but that's generally how I prefer shimmer inks. I don't like a huge flood of shimmer going on just because it tends to be problematic. And I don't know, I just, this, again, these blends are to my preferences. So take that as you will but it does have that really nice sort of beige rose going on. And then this one again is much more of a lavender gray with that gold shimmer. And then here's the rose variant. And again, just a bit more rosy than lavender. But I do think these work really, really well, again, in pens, especially that have that sort of abalone-esque look to them. Uh, and then anybody who happens to like this tone, I think it'll work really, really well. I'm using this one currently in a fine, and I have tested both of these in fines, and they do work really, really well, at least uh, as far as like Yovo nibs go. So hopefully these will sort of spur your own interest in trying it to blend some inks. If this video was interesting, entertaining, useful to you in any way, please do consider hitting that like button or potentially even subscribing to the channel. Um, as always, thank you so, so much for joining me. If you have any questions about any of these particular inks, uh, about, you know, what I do uh, as far as process goes, what kind of tools I use, please feel free to pop those into the comments. I love sort of going back and forth with people. Uh, if you have lasted to the end of this video, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I really appreciate you. You are absolutely wonderful. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and close out this vid. Uh, again, thank you so much for joining me. And hopefully I will see you next time. Bye-bye.